Napoleon had built up a splendid royal court, founded the Bonaparte dynasty, and through a series of wars had acquired an empire that ruled half of Europe. He still has his fans today. A few of them even have the contacts and, well, the means to acquire large collections of Napoleonic memorabilia. Secreted in this building in the center of Paris is one such collection, and Pierre-Jean Chalenson is the man behind it. Wow. Yes. This is incredible. This is Napoleon's room. <laughs> really? I wasn't expecting anything like this. You don't get a hint of it from the outside, and this... No, because from outside, you don't see really how big is it. Yeah. It's very discreet. So, obviously, you're a huge fan of Napoleon. I can yes. see him Yes, the tapestry, here. it's from 1809, from Aubusson. Aubusson uh, manufacture from 1809. Only one in the world. And it's interesting because you can see really the size of Napoleon. Uh, this is life size? Life size, yes. So he's not that small? No, of course not. Okay. He seems to be, but, you know, a lot of people say Napoleon was small. The English says that he was small. English propaganda. Oh, my God, these English people. <laughs> oh. Can you talk me through some of your favourite things as we walk through these amazing yes. rooms? Um, Here you have a, a painting uh, ordered by Lord Rosebery, Prime Minister of the Queen Victoria. Uh, very important painting, Napoleon, just before he died. He, he doesn't look so well there. No, this yeah. is a coat of arms from the coronation at Notre, in Notre Dame, the 2 December 1804. It was on the top of Notre Dame. Amazing. That's the only one we know. Yeah. You know, the collection is more than 2,000 pieces. You have 2,000 pieces. Yes. That's incredible. And uh, all the furniture that you can see here is National Treasure. It means I can't sell, I can't move from outside France. Here we are in a, in a much more Napoleonic room with a huge painting of Napoleon. Oh, that's incredibly that's famous. That's the original. That's the original yes. one. And here you have the ring. That's the same ring. The same. You're wearing Napoleon's ring. You can call me Napoleon. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I will that. call you Josephine. <laughs> but that's so rare to see. Usually something like this would be behind glass. It'd be in a case. You yes, but, but you're just be, you're wearing it. Uh, because I am a little bit crazy. <laughs> I'm French. You know, I have my ring. Why not? Why not, you know? Living in rather palatial style, Pierre Jean is uh, an avid collector, I think we can say, of uh, Napoleonic memorabilia. He's got paintings, sculptures, furniture. And though many people would probably object to the fact that these artefacts are displayed in this way, nevertheless, curiously, it does actually give us more of an insight into Napoleon the man, Napoleon uh, as emperor, in the way that they're being used by Pierre Jean today. <laughs> 